All right, guys. It is another spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking about an over-the-top beautiful morning. You're in paradise. We are in paradise. Yeah. On the banks. We're either on the banks of the Withlacoochee River or Lake Rousseau. Uh, <laughs> the jury is still out on that question here. From Denellen, Florida. Celebrating being a snowbird. And Lord. Thinking of the rest of the country here. What is it? It is a Saturday morning. Saturday morning, December 30th. We are counting down the days of 2023. Good Lord. Two more days. 2023. Oh boy, so this I think might be this crazy one and I'm gonna leave the uh, I'm gonna leave the microphone running just in case this is this uh, woman who was down here a couple of days ago who you might have heard her say, "Can I come sit by you?" I I made the mistake of telling this young lady that I'm down here every morning, so. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be paid another visit. So let's see. Uh, let, let's see what this young lady is up to today. I'm just going to set the camera in the cup of this thing. Uh, I hope this isn't going to be a regular morning event. We shall see. This young lady's name is Angelique. This is Angelique. She is from Long Island, New York. Now living in a beat up old trailer in Denellen, Florida. And she and her small daughter, who might or might not be with her this morning. And she is making obvious moves that uh, she is going to be moving into my trailer with her small daughter, which is not going to happen. Let's see. She, she's probably cracking open her third beer. It's 8.30 in the morning. She's probably on her third beer of the day. Oh, boy. <laughs> So I, obviously I cannot put her on video. I mean, she might be all right with me putting her on video, but I have, I have managed to manifest an attractive young woman. Now well, she's 38. And she has let me know that I guess her fiance who just ran off to Vietnam to marry an Asian woman was 63 and she sees no reason why a 38 year old woman cannot be with someone my age. But she seems just to be sitting in her car so I don't know why she's working up the energy to uh, <laughs> to continue our conversation from uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm getting ready for my next date with this woman on pile of fish. We are heading to stump knockers on the river.
to, uh, nope, she's leaving. So you guys will not be able to meet the famous Angelique. I guess she, uh, <laughs> she didn't have it in her this morning. Nope, nope. She might be coming back around. Let's see here. If she has anything to say. I'm going to keep looking forward. Oops. She is remembered. Hello. Um, yeah, it's a little chilly. They say you might have frost tonight. Yeah. Well, I got a, I got my own fur baby in my lap. Uh, we'll we'll meet up. I'm quite sure. All right, darling. You have a happy new year. If I don't see you before 2024. All right, onward. She, she wanted me to meet her baby. And you heard my de polite deflection. And I have my own baby in my lap. So I, I, I have this uh, obvious young single mother uh, uh, having me marked out. Uh, I think the, even without the baby, <laughs> she is a handful, that woman, but she assured me she could be submissive, that she could be submissive with the right man is what she told me. I told her that submissive did not was not the first word that came to mind. Ah, Jesus, all the uh, <laughs> all the crazy women in my life. Uh, speaking of which, so anyway, uh, the latest chapter with the uh, with this pile of fish woman. Uh, I guess, as I say, we're we're going to eat alligator at Stomp Knockers. She has never eaten alligator, so that's our big date. Well, here comes somebody else, damn it! And uh, so I, I, you might remember this rant I had about texting. I, I, you know, trying to drill into this woman's head that I do not text. Just don't text me anymore. Don't do it. And that was Monday night. I drilled into her head not to text me. And then she disappeared out of my life. I might have to stop talking if some guy comes out here. God damn it. And uh, so all was fine. All was calm. All day Tuesday. All day Wednesday. Never received a text from this woman. And then Thursday, in the middle of the day, I start getting texts from her. She's she's texting me just out, out of nowhere, and the texts weren't making any sense. And then she starts saying she is headed to the Red Hen Cafe, and that she goes, I will meet you at the Red Hen at 2 o'clock. So I let that, so then I get the text, okay, I'm here, I'm here at the Red Hen, where are you, is what she texted me, so I, instead of texting her, so I pick up the phone and I called her, she actually answered the phone, and she goes, oh, she goes, I think I see your truck just pulling in. And I said, no, darling, you, you don't see my truck just pulling in because my truck is 20 miles from the Red Hen Cafe sitting in my yard in Denellum, Florida. And there's this long silence and she goes, Sam? And, and I said, I think you have me confused with some other man buying you lunch on Pile of Fish. And click. 
So I thought that was the end of her. And 20 minutes later, <laughs> 20 minutes later, the phone rings. And it is this woman, and I laughed. I, I said, what the hell happened to your date? And she said, my date uh, was a 20-minute cup of coffee. And I said, I guess you did not just meet the man of your dreams. And uh, her response to that, she, she goes, Sam, she goes, I just really want to thank you for being so normal. Being so normal is, is, <laughs> is what this woman, she was thanking me for being the most normal uh, man she had ever met on Pile of Fish. And, and I and I laughed and I said I don't think any woman I have ever met on an internet dating service has called me normal. Uh, I said I think there's other words they've called me, but I said I think you're the first and only woman to describe me as normal. How does she describe herself that I am an atypical? She goes, well, as you know, Sam, I am an atypical woman. Because I am an atypical woman, so to me, you're normal. And then she goes, these other guys, what did she say? I think she said they were fucked. I was just like, fuck it. Uh, about all these normie men. So I asked her what pissed her off and she said the guy called her honey. That he had known her for 10 minutes and called her honey. And uh, she thought that was completely inappropriate. She's from, uh, she's from New England. And this woman is a, is a Yankee and uh, I, I said I absolutely love it when a woman I've known for 10 minutes calls me honey or darling and she was totally shocked to hear that and I said you know I said I honestly think it's cultural and I said every time I leave New York heading to Florida as soon as I cross the Mason Dixon line every waitress is calling me darling and sweetheart and honey I said it's not a it, it's not sexist for a, a southern man to call a woman honey or vice versa. And she said, well, maybe. Uh, she goes, well, I don't, she goes, I don't like that culture. And I said, well, I call you darling. And she said, it's fine for you to call me darling because you know me. But anyway, so what do you think? I, I absolutely. Uh, Love it when some strange woman calls me darling. So, uh, anyway, this is this atypical woman is so happy. I am so normal. <laughs> oh, boy. All I want is the woman I love. I told the woman I love a couple of days ago, I said, you realize, darling, it's your fault. I'm going through all of this bullshit drama on Pile of Fish. She seemed to have uh, exactly zero guilt for putting me through all of this hell. Oh, Jesus. What we do, I'm looking for love.
What is this person doing? Uh, okay, let me get the energy for my next pile of fish date with an atypical woman with a BMI of 19. <laughs> At least there's that. <sighs> Good. But uh, I am ready to eat some alligator. That stump knockers. So who knows what a stump knocker is? I actually know the, this is a true test of how southern are you. Can you define stump knocker? What a stump knocker is, is a big ass catfish. So what, what they did, so in the catfish, this is a big, mature, wise catfish. When he does something stupid like bites your hook and he gets the hook in his mouth, what he does is he knocks his head up against a stump that they, in all of these cypress knees and whatnot, the, these big ass catfish uh, know how to knock the hook out of their mouth by knocking their heads up against underwater stumps to get the hook out of their mouth. Uh, <laughs> That is a stump knocker. I mean, you, you, you I, I bet there's, I, I bet half the waitresses at stump knockers have no clue what a stump knocker is. But anyway, I'm not getting the catfish. As delicious as it is, I'm going for the gator. So get out there to stump knockers and Eat all the alligator you can while you still can. And I hope you find the one you love. Bye, guys.